I was a child when I joined the children choir for in a group for classical Arabic music, like the classical stuff, the Moshahad, Adwar. So this is how I started singing this style, classical Arabic style, and I stayed all my life, continued singing this style until when I recorded my first album. It was with Dutch jazz trio, including. Tony Overwater, Yuri Honing, and Joost Leibart. And I started doing what I used to do, but with a new uh, arrangement, new accompaniment, uh, which is not typical to this kind of music. You get to deal with all these quarter tones that are not quarter tones, but they fluctuate. So it's it's that's a challenge, especially on a clarinet, is is uh, or a, you know, let alone on a bass clarinet. So I had to find all kinds of ways to make them not only sound, but also to make them sound good. Of course, every challenge is fun, and I think especially what we do with this trio is to mix it with our music, to mix it with Baroque music and to see where we can come to terms and, and, and really splice it together. What is fascinating for me is to, to look at the sources and look at technically what they were doing. And things what they're saying about ornaments and this kind of let's say, uh, information. But what is much more interesting for me and uh, helps uh, understanding the music is to read about the people at that time. What were they doing? What were they thinking? Um, that makes the music alive. And that makes it for me very, very special to work with people like Rima and Martin, who are so genuine in their music and expressing the music that's completely inspiring to me. <laughs> 